baby, I could be out with my friends and we could be having a blast. But the minute that my man calls, hello, you said what? You want me to come with? I'm out. Me and turn up. Hey, I'm out. Period. They be like, where you going? To my man. To my man. Uh, you always with him. You was just with him. I don't care. I'm going to be with him. And I'm going to be with him again after that. And again after that. And again after that. Because that's my man. I'm out. Turn up with y'all later. I'll see y'all later. Period. Like, Shout out to Light Skin Keisha. That was just her. That video went viral. It was dropped in the shade room. All the women got upset with her. They are big mad. One time for the sister Mary. Thank you, sister, for sending that in. They're 38 hot going in on her, calling her all kinds of names. But I'm going to tell you right now, I agree with her 1,000%. Take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Click that notification bell for all updates. Not going to waste any time. Let's go ahead and jump into this. I did this video right here last year when Light Skin Keisha when she appeared on the Poor Minds podcast. If you missed it, the link will be below. You can check it out after this. But Keisha, she was on there telling the truth. And now she's back again and I love it. I've been watching Keisha over the years and I see how she's developed. She's 27 years old now, on the right track. Since that last video her boyfriend proposed to her, I support them and wish them the best. So I really like this direction that they're going in. They've known each other for 10 years. They haven't been together for 10 years, but they've known each other for 10 years. They graduated from the same school in Georgia. Keisha is not just a young woman making money. I can tell you that as a woman, she still maintains her place and her femininity. And that's what a lot of women today, they don't understand. She's not thinking that she's better than her man. No, she's not confused about who's the man and who's the woman. They have their role and they stick to it and that's how she's showing up as a feminine woman in a relationship in 2022 and I do believe that their relationship will last for the long run because the foundation is solid so after millions of people watched that video and they had a lot to say Keisha came back with a response here it is people need to stop creating fake scenarios about this situation when that's not my reality for example people are like oh yeah well first of all this is how I know that a lot of people also too are traumatized or whatever and they just be going through stuff a lot of women was like, oh, well, what's going to happen or whatever when y'all break up or whatever, da 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 First of all, why does that have to automatically be a thing of where it comes down to, oh, when y'all break up, when y'all break up? Y'all are traumatized. Who has hurt you? Because that should not be the first thing on your mind when you get into a relationship. Like, I just feel like if it's a certain situation that you really want to be in and that person wants to be in it as well, too, why does the first thing have to come to mind? Oh, well, when y'all break up, when y'all break up. Why do we have to break up? How you know we gonna break up? That's for one. For two, I've seen a lot of women saying, oh yeah, well, is he gonna do the same thing for you though? So you know what? I'm gonna let Coca answer that question. Baby, answer that question. What you mean? If, are you gonna do the same thing for me if I call and I say, oh, I wanna see you or whatever and I want you to come home? I'm coming home. You're coming home? I'm coming home, I'm trying to get in there. Okay. I'm coming home. <laughs> I definitely come home though, cause like I, I always come home though. Every time you tell me that you on the way home, I'm like, alright, I'm gonna be on the way. Right. Period. So this is another thing too, though. I was like, you know, I also realized like that. That was that was number two. That's why I feel like a lot of girls are like traumatized or whatever. Or you guys, the women who are having so much negative stuff to say about it. Like, let's sit down and let's have a conversation and let's talk about why y'all haven't. Why are y'all not? going to um I, why haven't y'all been in relationships with people who actually want to be with you like find you a man that actually want to be with you because at the end of the day why like the fact that i even have to go into deeper detail is crazy to me about this about this simple topic because i'm just like why are so many people upset about me saying that if my man call then i'm going home at the end of the day first of all this is my reality my reality is is that first of all i don't even really be outside like that for one that's that's a fact and that's because when you have a relationship and you have a household, you're not gonna really be out in the streets. But what she was trying to say when she is out with her homegirls, if her man called her, that's the priority. And that's it. When it comes to her man, his priority level is all the way up here and they're not up there. Most of you think you have friends, but you really don't. You may have people that you associate with. You may have people that you waste time with or whenever you're trying to do something, you have company. But most of these people are not your friends. And how you know? Because it's a lot of you, your friends 
friends that will backbite you. You go around telling them all your business and the next thing you know, every single other person they talk to know all about you. Even people you don't even know. Because your so-called friend told that person everything about you. That's not your friend. You're just a person that they leech off of for energy or leech off of for something to talk about. And believe it or not, if you always find yourself single, it's those single friends that's helping to keep you that way. They don't want you to be coupled up like Keisha is because then that's one less person they have around to talk to and waste time with. If you don't remember anything else in this video, remember that part. If I'm out with my friends or whatever and I've been out with my friends or whatever, obviously I'm not finna just be like, oh yeah, I'm out, like, you know what I'm saying? But if I've been out with my friends for a couple of hours or whatever and we just been hanging and da 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 or whatever and it's getting to a certain time, and then if I haven't been really like, if me and Coca have been like so busy and just like work and just all type of stuff or whatever, and we haven't been really like chilling and he call, and he happened to just be like, oh yeah, baby, like I wanna spend some time with you tonight, da 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 da. I'm not gonna lie. My friends have about a good 20 to 30 minutes before I before I make my exit. And that's just that on that, period. Good. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, but I'm not that friend that's gonna be like, oh, I'm never gonna like, as soon as we get to the spot, Oh, I always gotta leave and my boyfriend nagging me or you know what I'm saying, my fiance nagging Like, cause he don't even do that. Like, he don't even do that. So that's the thing, like a lot of people talking about, oh yeah, well if your, if, your, if your man is doing that or whatever, as soon as you go somewhere, then that means he's insecure. First of all, he's not even doing all of that. Like, what is wrong with y'all? Like, why y'all just making up stuff in y'all head? And then on top of that too, a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people saying things like, Oh, you know, um, well, don't try to run back to your friends when y'all have the problems or, you know, your friends deserve to be your friend time and da-da-da-da-da or whatever. And you know what I'm saying? Like, your friends was always here. It's always going to be here. Your friends was here first. That's not my reality. That's something that you guys are assuming because it is a fact that Coca is my longest friend. I have known Coca longer than anybody that I'm around today, period. So the fact of the matter is, is that Y'all keep on trying to create scenarios and these scenarios in your head, but that's not my reality. Like, that's not what we're going through. That's not what we have going on. And again, I want all of you women who don't understand that because the women who get it, they get it because you know why? They got a man that actually likes them. They have a man that actually enjoys their presence. They have a man that wants to be around them. And a lot of women don't want to take accountability and I can get into another another subject that'll that'll get us into another subject but my thing is this a lot of women don't want to take into account they don't want to take accountability for their bs and why they don't have a man or why they can't keep one exactly tell them keisha you see a lot of women really don't understand what keisha is talking about they're having a hard time grasping this concept because they never had a good relationship a lot of them raised by their mothers to be that way we're dealing with a generation of women where their mama wasn't a wife their mama was a strong, independent woman who didn't need no man for nothing, and now they've raised them to be the same way. When you have that deep rooted in you, on top of having underlying contempt for men based on whatever experiences or trauma, you are not going to be able to understand Keisha. If you have past issues you need to deal with, the internet isn't the place to go. You do not go to the comment section. You go to a licensed clinical psychologist, a therapist, somebody to help you through all of these issues from your childhood or wherever they came from. It's just way too many broken little girls out there still trying to work through their issues from their childhood and now 15, 20, 30, 40 years later they're all on the internet wanting every other man to pay for it. And they also want all the other women to share those experiences and take on those same emotions. I don't have to like, I don't know, like it's just a difference. Like the girls who just get it, get it. Like, and at the end of the day, the girls who have those, who have a solid relationship or whatever, like they know exactly what I meant and they didn't, they didn't take no offense to it. But I'm confused as to why so many people are just taking to offense to it. And it's just like, and you talk about I'm a loser and I'm lame and da 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 No, y'all are lame. Because nine times out of ten, you can't it's coming from women who can't get no who can't get no man, who can't keep one, let alone you're 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 a side. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. You you having sex with somebody that's not even that's not even your man. You doing this or whatever, you catering to a man that's not even yours. Mm. So this is why you don't understand because guess what? You gotta be on, you gotta be quiet on the phone. You have to be quiet on the phone when your man is on the phone with his real girlfriend. Mm. That's what you used to. That's not my reality. And at the end of the day, 
women have to go back and correct themselves sometimes because it's just like a lot of women are just out here like broken and y'all y'all spreading this negativity and this brokenness amongst others because they're happy stop hating on people because they're happy if i want to be with my man i have every right to be with my man my man my man my, like period and my man ain't left me for dead so and hopefully he won't period but all i'm just saying is like those who have been watching us you know what i'm saying like they know that we have been me and coca have been in a very solid committed relationship you know what i'm saying we ain't never been in the blogs for no bs no crazy stuff and all this other stuff or whatever like you know what i'm saying we don't we this ain't no gimmick you know what i mean like this ain't no oh this ain't no pr this ain't no none of that like this is a real situation to where we're going to eventually have a family together like all type of stuff so i just feel like get get with the program and you either get it or you don't and i don't care to like i don't care what you really necessarily like think of me either because i'm gonna still stand by what i said because i said what i said a lot of women can learn so much if you just sit back and just be quiet but the problem is, is that y'all want to argue about other people's preferences and stuff like that we've gotten to a point to where in this world you can't even say your actual opinion because people will literally hold it against you and people will try to cancel you for it and people will try to you know what i'm saying come at you for it but it's like an opinion is an opinion because it's mine regardless of what your opinion is i can respect your opinion but at the end of the day this is what i'm gonna do that's what i'm gonna do and that's what i want to do go find a man that really like you a lot of y'all saying that because y'all haven't experienced a relationship maybe where uh, it, or a situation to where a dude is showing you um unconditional love like or just unconditional attention like a lot of women need attention need love you need you know what i'm saying we need that we need that real like you know what i'm saying we need somebody to really care but a lot of times y'all be setting yourselves up because y'all entering these toxic situations and that's why you don't understand what i'm talking about that's why because at the end of the day and you talking about friends 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 these be the same friends that y'all go home and y'all talk about these be the same friends that you 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 know what i'm saying like you dogging back when you get home to whoever and whoever so let's talk about it the facts are the facts like yep that's why this whole argument that they're having with themselves really it doesn't make any sense they're trying to say that women should put their friends over their man i'll say it again most of the people that you think are your friends they are not your friends if you give them the opportunity to backbite you they'll do it a lot of girls is like lost out here and they confused and they're trying like like you have to break those curses whatever it is those curses that you've been taught growing up and all this other stuff or whatever like act this way act this way like no like be a better person and you will find a better person correct what's in what's what's wrong in here and and, and whatever is meant for you is going to come to you Thank you, Keisha, for telling them the truth. You see, a lot of women, you keep running into these type of men because that's the type of men you attract. You attract that type of man because the type of woman you are. Women that's good inside and out, she's gonna attract good. But the problem is a lot of you are rotten to the core and that's why you keep getting what you're getting. You don't have good intentions. You are selfish. You are sneaky. You don't respect men. You have a problem with submitting to a man. You have a problem with traditions and values. So yes, that's why you keep getting the crap that you keep getting. You're not following things the way they're supposed to be. Here's the thing, they're both in the music industry. And Keisha, when it comes to her music, she's gonna have to drop these gems inside of her music and not push the same rhetoric as the other female rappers. You know, she's in her 20s, and I would love to see how she's gonna progress over the next couple of years, five, 10 years. I do think they have a solid foundation. I'm happy for them, their wedding, their kids, their family, everything they're gonna have, I'm happy for them. So shout out to Coca Keisha Vangos, the Vangos. It's a reason why women like Jada talking about this we run the world stuff. They're single with kids, unmarried. And then you have people like Keisha. She's got a man, they're on their way to marriage and starting a family together. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started below in the comments. Do you agree with Keisha, women prioritizing their men over their friends? And why are these mad hyenas so upset? Special shout out to Edmund. Thank you so much, Edmund. As well as Vaughn, I appreciate the both of you. Latoya, I appreciate you, sister. As well as Six Paths Commandments. 
our brothers Dark Power and Hardwood King. Thank you all for your support. Want to see more content like this? You can support the channel too. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis, want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.